Black Mass is the new biopic starring Johnny Depp, Benedict Cumberbatch, Joel Edgerton, Kevin Bacon, Adam Scott, Corey Stoll, really, really huge cast. And this movie is basically the true story about the alliance between the FBI, specifically John Connolly, and the most notorious gangster, James Whitey Bulger. Now going into this movie, the trailers hyped me because Johnny Depp looked like he was finally doing something great again, something not like Mordecai. And guys, after seeing this movie, I can definitely assure you that if Johnny Depp doesn't get an Oscar nomination, then the Oscars are doing something wrong. Yeah, I haven't seen the other movies that are supposed to have really good actors in it yet. So what? Johnny Depp deserves a nom. And I mean it, Johnny Depp completely transformed. There was one part where I couldn't even tell that it was him. Like, I knew it was him, but he just looked really different. Is it in makeup? up again? Yeah. But who gives a shizzle? And I thought I was gonna get annoyed by his accent. Never did. Completely enthralled by his performance. And I don't mean to discredit any of the other actors, but Johnny Depp outacted all of them. In comparison, they all did horribly. Well, not really. I'm just saying that to exaggerate the point that Johnny Depp is finally a good actor again. Well, actually, Alice in Wonderland too. He's back as the Mad Hatter. And I don't know how Pirates 5 is going to be. Uh, never mind, let's hold off on that. But speaking of the other actors, Joel Edgerton, who just came out of The Gift, he was really good in this movie also. And I thought his chemistry between Whitey Bulger, because they did have a history. John Connolly grew up with James and his brother Billy. And I really felt their chemistry. They did a really good job. And speaking of Billy, Benedict... Cumberbatch does a really good job also. You know, he's British, so is he going to be able to pull off this Boston accent? Yes. Yes, he did. And he was really good in this movie. I forgot that he was even actually British. His accent was so convincing. Kevin Bacon is in this movie, and he is really good also. And Adam Scott is really good. Their roles aren't as huge as Edgerton, Cumberbatch, or Depp's, but they are really good in the movie. And Corey Stoll shows up for a little bit. He doesn't have a lot of screen time, but when he's there, he's really good. And there are a couple gangster characters like Peter Skarsgård and Jesse Plemons. Is that how you say his name? And then other actors that I don't know their names of. And I thought they did really good too because you can feel the notorious gangster chemistry if that's if that's even a thing but you can feel their chemistry like they kind of have a history in this gangster past that they have and you could really feel that chemistry and because of the great performances in this movie I was enthralled throughout the entire thing oh yeah I should probably mention you know that girl Dakota Johnson who was in 50 shades of gray yeah she's in this movie and she was actually pretty good. Is she in the whole movie? No, she's in like about five or ten minutes, but when she's there, she's actually pretty good. Now, I don't know how this performance compares to her completely awesome performance in Fifty Shades of Grey, one of the best movies of the year, but uh, I'm in this movie, she was pretty good. And even though Whitey Bulger is not a good guy at all, there are a couple moments where they try to make you feel some emotion towards him, and I gotta say, they kinda pulled it off because he has a son in the movie, and you can actually kinda feel that he cares for his son. And he actually does care for his brother Billy and his friends. He actually does care about people. But he's a bad guy, though, so... <laughs> Ugh. And I gotta say, as far as the biopic thing, like, you know, the theme of the movie is a biopic, they did a pretty good job, except two flaws. My two flaws for this movie is that, like, when the movie was wrapping up, I was like, oh, we're at the end already? Oh, okay. Uh, that was pretty good. I feel like we were missing some stuff, though. I think if they added in a couple more scenes, the movie would have flowed better, especially since they jumped from 1975 to 1981 to 1985. And they have this segment where this interrogator is basically interrogating these people that worked for Whitey Bulger, and whenever they brought those segments back, I was like, oh yeah, that's right, these things are in this movie, right almost forgot. And I don't think I should have forgotten about those moments because they just kind of show up like we're in the middle of the scene, then you hear the narration from the interrogator or the one who's being interrogated and you're like, oh yeah, that's right, this is going on also. But overall guys, Black Mass, I was completely enthralled. The acting was incredible. The camera work was really good. The direction, mwah. I gotta say, Johnny Depp, if you're gonna be in more roles like this, Thank you. I'm going to give Black Mass an A-. minus. I think if they just touched up a little bit on the flow of the movie, I think it could have been 
really freaking amazing. But you know what? A minus isn't bad. Johnny Depp, make more movies like this. Serious, seriously, Johnny, listen to me. Make more movies like this when you're doing this role and not like a, ooh, I'm a whimsical cartoon. He does hand movements like Captain Jack Sparrow. But if you saw Black Mass, leave in the comments below what you thought of it. And I'm going to try to see Maze Runner, The Scorch Trials this weekend. If I don't, then I'll see it a couple days later because I do want to see it because I like the first Maze Runner movie. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe. I'm Jackson Fulcher. See you guys next time. <laughs>